We're in the middle of a project looking at bird wing aerodynamics, specifically the wingtip feathers and how they play a role in reducing the drag of a bird in flight, but also tying into the stability and control of large gliders like pelicans, uh, California condors, those kinds of birds. Today we're at the Los Angeles Natural History Museum where the ornithology department has invited us to come and do some 3D scans of some specimens they have so that we can turn them into wind tunnel models and computer models. The setup behind me is um, a 3D scan of a pelican bird wing and we have our 3D scanner, the bird wing on the uh, on a turntable and um, all of this is hooked up to my laptop which is creating a 3D model of our scan. For a quick scan and lower quality it probably take a minute or so per scan. Um, if you're talking higher resolution it might be three to four minutes. Um, so to do a 360 scan and get a full model of whatever you're scanning, it can go anywhere between 20 minutes to an hour. From there what we do is we um, put that scan into a software called MeshLab and in MeshLab we can fill any holes that the scans might have, any roughness or noise that's on the surface, any just kind of oddities in the scan and hopefully smooth out anything that wasn't supposed to be there. And hopefully at the end of Mesh Lab, we have a solid model that looks something like we'd want to see. 3D print it, get in a wind tunnel and get some data. Um, I think this is an interesting project just because it's not something where I'm sitting in front of a computer writing code all day. I'm looking at nature and nature's qualities and um, researching something like that for aerodynamic purposes is really cool and I think really unique to the field that we're in. 